ATV Motocross rolled into Redbud for our previous round. And Joel Hedrick and Chad Weenan put on another classic battle up front. While Ryder shuffled the podium positions behind them, Hedrick got away. While Michael Allred went down hard. Then Weenan caught Hedrick and rolled into the number one spot. Wesley Wolf's podium bid ended with mechanical problems, and Weenan scored a clutch victory straight up over Hedrick. Allred and Hedrick got good starts in moto number two. While podium contenders for Australia and Ford were tangled in turn one, again in the rollers, Weenan was able to take the measure of Hedrick. In route to a key 1-1, an extension of the points lead. Restrelli did his best to come through traffic until his engine expired. So with all the carnage throughout the podium, it was Max Linquist on the box for the first time. ATV Motocross from Loretta Lynn's is next. The venerable Loretta Lynn Ranch, Hurricane Mills, Tennessee, about an hour outside of Nashville, host of the ATV National Motocross Championship. I am Jason Wygant. The insiders, well, they know this event as Dirt Days, and part of this is the 88 Live to Ride Foundation's fundraising drive. Great part of the ATV motocross community, and you'll never have a race here at Loretta's without some rain and mud coming through and then reclaiming the racetrack. And we want to mention that about two weeks after this race, this area was hit with hellacious rains, epic flooding, and it led to the loss of life in the Waverly, Tennessee area. Go to Road to Recovery, road the number two recovery.com for more on the Racers for Waverly fundraiser as the industry of motocross bikes and ATVs tries to help this area rebuild. As far as the conditions here earlier for this race, the typical heat and humidity that defines racing at the ranch. Max Linquist on the podium at our last race. Let's talk to the youngster. Coming in here off Redbud, first pro podium. Uh, super stoked on that. It was an awesome weekend and just on a super high note right now. Um, coming in with uh, obviously lots of confidence and you know uh, weather's a little, little on the edge right now. Not sure how the weekend's gonna go, but uh, you know preparing for the best and still uh, getting one podium down, shooting for another, and you know just uh, gonna go out with that mindset and uh, see what we can do this weekend. Now, Linquist was pumped on the podium in the last race. Joel Hedrick was not. He finished second. He really needs to knock down some wins, or Chad Weenan is going to slip away with this championship. Here's Joel. What's up, guys? We're here at Loretta Lens. Uh, it's been two years since we've been here. Of course, it rained on us and made it interesting for today. The track's drying out a little bit right now. Uh, I just drove around and was watching practice, and it actually looks pretty good. There's a couple soft spots, but I'm sure by the time we race, it'll be all right uh, if, if we don't get any more rain. But. Uh, no, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's hot and muggy and it's a little wet. If you go out of the line, I'm sure it's going to be a mess. So it's going to be a, a day for no mistakes and a good start. So we're just here and having fun. And, uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. Obviously, I train hard and I'm here to win. So that's the goal. But, you know, uh, we've been uh, up and down year. So try to end on some ups. Yeah, it has been a little different for the Wienan and Hetrick battle this year. Wienan able to take the measure of Hetrick straight up at a couple of races. Usually Hetrick has the speed, no problem, and just has to work on the consistency. This year it's been reversed. See if Hetrick can strike back. ATV Motocross is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC and by CST Tires. Well, as mentioned before the break, Chad Weenan taking control with a 1-1 at our last race at Redbud. He has had speed to burn this year, not just Mr. Consistent, and he wants more today. Up in the air how the conditions will be, but I think it'll come around pretty good. Hopefully we get pretty decent weather today and help dry things out. But um, regardless, uh, my Yamaha is running great, and uh, I'm, I've been riding really well, so I feel like uh, I just got to try to keep riding that wave. So, uh, yeah, we have two rounds left. Have a I have a small points lead, so I got to keep uh, keep doing what I've been doing and try to keep uh, progressing and try to keep gaining points. But uh, obviously, you know, uh, just focus one at a time and uh, one race at a time, one gate drop, and uh, just keep having fun. I've been having a great time, and we're going to try and keep that up. And Wayne and the rest of the crew rolling out for our qualifying practice. Now, Dirt Days here at Loretta's has served as the season finale 
more often than not, but this year there will be one additional race. We're going to Briarcliff in Ohio, so this will be your next to last round. So you see Hedrick here. He's got to hope to win the last four motos of the year and get some bad luck out of Wienan, and the title could still be his. You see just how rough and sandy this layout is. Nick Janusa putting his hard laps down. Track really has come together. A little bit of mud stuck to the machines, but not nearly as bad as we thought it would be. Brandon Hogue slinging it sideways past the Yamaha Mechanics area. Bryce Ford here, super fast. He could be a podium runner today. He'll have to go through the veteran, Jeffrey Rastrelli, who's been fighting the kids for that podium spot every week. And they made a breakthrough at our last race. We mentioned Max Linquist. You see rolling through the Ten Commandments here, also on the box. So lots of contenders for that podium position. Don't forget, Cody Ford is also capable on the number five. And Michael Allred always looking good in yellow. Yes, Allred in yellow. Had good starts in our last race. Logan Stanfield. Been at it for a while here. 55. Netjana coming out of Poland on the 991. Cesar Jimenez on the 101. Look at how well this soil has turned up. Zach Harris goes through the sand. Big crash here for Wesley Wolf, and that was scary. Wolf has been very good this year, has been on the podium. Apparently, a spark plug cap broke, and that led to the crash. Hetrick, your fast qualifier. We send best wishes to Wesley Wolf there who broke his elbow, the radial head on his elbow, shattered it, and he's in for a long recovery. He should be back to racing next season. We'll be right back with Moto1. ATV Motocross is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC and by CST Tires. Line them up, move them out. It's time for Moto1 here. Dirt Days, Loretta Lynn's Ranch, ATV National Motocross Series. Jason Wygant to give you the call. Brandon Hogue has our Rocky Mountain ATV MC on board. Let's go racing. Oh, good jump for Hogue. We might have a whole shot here. He's got the light blue colors on the outside and he makes it happen, Hogue, with a whole shot. And you love when these young kids get starts because you want to see what they can do against Wienan and Hedrick who are right there. There's Rastrelli around the outside getting pelted and Wienan wasting no time, shoving to the inside as they head to the Ten Commandments and he's got the lead. I'm telling you, rejuvenated this year. Hard to believe that a seven-time champ and defending champ of the series could be rejuvenated, but I think there's just a little something extra in the game for Wienan this year. And he's starting to pull away a bit. Let's see if Ho can hang with him, and that's that challenge I was talking about. You see these kids, they've got speed. Can they run the pace, and what will they learn while they're up there? Hetrick quickly up into the number three spot. And he's got his teammate, Jeffrey Rastrelli, right there, and then Ford on the number four. So we got a good setup at this moto. Ooh, Wienan throwing it sideways. That wasn't on purpose. And look at this, Hogue is looking for running room to try to retake the lead. Triple after the finish. And they're all getting it. Man, that is a pretty big leap on an ATV, especially your tight twisting through that corner. Look at this dirt. Thought this might be a mud race. Looks absolutely primo here, although the riders are going to be challenged with the heat and humidity. And Ho continues to keep Wien and Honest. Back in his storyland, back section of the track. We work our way toward the center and then the sand. And Hogue is not holding up Hetrick or Rastrelli. He is holding his own, in fact. And you know that the likes of Hogue, oh, and a hard landing there as Hetrick tried to air it out. You know that the likes of Hogue and Ford, Linkwist, a lot of these young guys, this is what they want to do. They want to show that they're not just here to fight for podiums. They want to get in those top two positions and challenge the riders who have won, shoot, probably 95% of the races over the last five, six years. No longer have Thomas Brown, the veteran with us, Retired at the end of last season. Brown had won a couple of races here and there. So with him out, the door is really open. Rastrelli certainly capable. But it's all about the young guns in ATV Motocross. And Wienan almost flipped it in that corner. Rode the bicycle. Two wheels all the way through. So he is having to push right now. Now you go back to Hedrick in third. Like I said, not even really being held up by Hogue. Hedrick, a long time red rider on the Honda. TRX 450R. Now the Phoenix team running Yamahas this year, and 
the Yamaha is certainly capable because that's what Winnin has been winning his titles on. But I think they've just been using this year to try to get the Yamaha to where they were with the Honda. So Hedrick has been good, really good there around the outside. Great job to take the measure of Hogue. But there's just a small difference in speed that Hedrick usually has over everyone else. He's been good this year, but not dominant speed-wise. And you can see him fighting that machine. Man, that was fun to watch through that sand. And he's going to make a run at Wien, and you know it. So another test, another measure here. Can Hetrick run Wienen down? In previous years, I think he could get the job done. Oh, Michael Allred, another crash. We've seen far too much of that as of late. Go back to the lead. Wienen holding his own. Hetrick's going to dig deep. He has to. Going to be a good run down the stretch here at Loretta's. Hogue running strong in third. But the leaders are about to press the pace up front. Behind that looks like Rastrelli. Ford Linquist going to go at it for fourth. And Wienin trying to maintain the lead. ATV Motocross is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC and by CST Tires. Wienin versus Hetrick, it has been the story in ATP Motocross for a long time now. And that's still the story today. Now Hetrick got it the second, he was pressing, he was closing, but now Wienin has answered. We saw Mike Allred have a crash earlier. He's okay, but his race looks over. This battle continues to rage. Ford has gotten around Rastrelli. You've got Linquist right there. But shout out to Hoke, he is on no man's land. He has not been able to keep pace with the leaders. But generally, you could say, who can? But what he has done has pulled away from that battle behind him. So Hope really getting it done. Those are his peers back there. They have had great battles for third, and he has left them in the dust. And Ford and Linquist, they're going to settle it between them now for fourth. So a little bit of an off moto from Rastrelli. Maybe he's having a problem. They've both gotten around him and pulled away. Woo! Chad Wieden almost threw it away there. There is Rastrelli. You don't normally see him start third and go all the way back like this. Now in a battle with Janusa to hold on to sixth. Brandon Hogue, he's been up and down early in his pro career, but he is, oh no! Hogue is off the side of the track. He had one of the best runs we've ever seen from him. Announcer's curse, I was just talking about the ups and downs. And then he got to figure it out. Then he hits the mud. And now he's got problems. Let's reset the order. They've all gotten by. This Rastrelli and Janusa battle is now for fifth instead of sixth. Last lap, and Wienen is throwing down again. Ford and Linquist battling. I think that's actually going to be for third now because Ho got stuck in the mud there on the side of the track. Hogue is actually behind this battle as Janusa gets inside of Rastrelli around the billboard turn. Wienen continues to lead. There's Hetrick going to have to settle for second, and here is Hogue. Oh, bummer for him. One mistake away from a podium and probably the best ride of his career. But one mistake can make all the difference. Just talk to this guy. He has been the most consistent man in the game over the last decade, and that is why he's working on his eighth Championship Moto One belongs to the big man from Galena, Illinois, Chad Wienen. We get ready for Moto number two. Not a lot of time to recover considering how hot and humid it is out here today. We'll see if Hogue can get some revenge after what coulda, shoulda, woulda been a podium in Moto One. Let's go racing. Hogue does it. Another hole shot, this time a little further to the inside, but same result. Woo, look at Hetrick around the outside. Big drive on that Yamaha, gets the number 88 to the number one spot. That's what he needs. Wienen fighting for around fifth here with Rastrelli. Got to get around Linquist and Ford, some real fast kids. So this is going to be interesting. Hetrick is going to put in some burner laps right now and try to build up the biggest lead possible. Look at the gap he has already. Rolling through that sand turn. 
track's a lot different here in Moto2. The riders trying to figure out the lines. Of course, the pro side of ATV Motocross, we tie it right in with the amateurs. So they'll run amateur motos. We'll have a pro moto one, more amateur motos. Look at those ruts. When you throw so many different riding techniques, styles, speed, and machines in there, how did how did Wienan get to second already? So much for that. I, I thought he'd really have a challenge on his hand to get around those Yamahas in front of him. Linquist, Ford, Hogue, he's in the second. Could he potentially go try to track Hedrick down and win the overall today? And I can't tell if Hedrick is making mistakes or if this track is just that gnarly. As always, the answer probably a combination of both. As Rastrelli takes a rough ride into the Ten Commandments to show you how difficult it is. Ford, he's backwards on the track. He spins it around. This course is just breeding mistakes right now. Wienan hoping for a big one from the leader. The burner lap put in by Hedrick early. That is making the difference. Wienan made quick passes, but he's got a lot of ground to make up. And here is Hogue. Can he hold on to third? Going to explore the high line in that corner. You saw how difficult those ruts down to the inside were for Hedrick. Oh, Hogue has company. Wow, and who knew there was standing water down there through the mechanics area? Linquist all over Hogue. Great battle for the podium. Linquist around the outside. He uses the Hedrick line. Shoots into third. These kids are all right. Going to be fun to watch them battle to the end. ATV Motocross is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC and CST Tires. Joel Hetrick is your leader here. Loretta Lane's Dirt Days ATV National. And he'd be headed to the overall. If he can hold off Chad Wienan, they'd split the motos today a two and a one. Good for Hetrick because he'd have the overall win, but also good for Wienan because the goal right now is to just not lose points. We have one round left in the series. And Wienan maintains a solid points lead into the Ten Commandments. Brandon Hogue trying to hold off Rastrelli and Janusa. And Rastrelli getting there to the inside. You saw the line. And he takes it away. So Rastrelli much better here in Moto2. Hogue has come undone. He was third. Had that big battle with Linquist before he went to commercial break. Lost third. Now he's lost fourth. There you see the gap between Hedrick and Wienan, your leaders. So Ho going to look at today as a potential 3-3, but it's not going to happen. Made a mistake late in Moto 1, and then got zapped here by Linquist and Rastrelli in Moto 2. Ups and downs for everybody today. And again, I think a lot of it is just track. It has changed so much from the mud we had this morning. It's gotten super rough. It's going to be slick and polished in spots. You've got sand and others. And then other areas are tacky. More attacks. Janusa trying to get Hogue through the Ten Commandments. Going to use the same inside line that Rastrelli tried earlier. It's Linquist all alone in third. And now we have to start thinking podium. Linquist is in position to get it for the second race in a row. Look at the airtime from Hedrick. I mean, that is full send into that sand corner. Oh, and Janusa just able to edge by. Janusa has an outside shot at that third place podium position. I think he'd have to catch Rastrelli and Linquist to do it. So that's going to be tough. So Linquist, last year's Pro-Am champion, that is the stepping stone to this Pro Division, coming into his own now as a rookie with back-to-back -back podiums. Hedrick finishing this one off. He has pulled away from Wienan. Had it dialed in this moto. A couple of turning points this season. He flipped it upside down on the mud at Unadilla. Also got run into by a flipping quad at a race at mid-season. Got banged up a little bit there. At one point he had the points lead and things were looking good for the title. It just seems like the brakes always go Chad Wienan's way. But as for Wienan, I've talked to him about it quite a bit. He really does play the risk and reward game. He does not believe that the consistency is an accident. 
his younger days, Weenan was the wild man who would win or crash. And he has learned the lessons through the years. Not going to get the overall win today. It's going to go to Hedrick. It'll go down to the finale as far as the fight for the championship. But Joel Hedrick is the winner here at Loretta's. And that's got to feel good after the Moto won second place. Let's talk to our top three. Joel Hedrick took the win at Loretta Lens. Dirt. Hey guys, Max Linkus here. Uh, Loretta Lins, P3 overall again, uh, back to back. This is a uh, second overall rookie rookie year. Um, man, so excited, so stoked. Um, everything's been falling so good lately. Man, just uh, can't thank everyone enough, the whole team, the family, and everything. It's been just an awesome weekend here. Just couldn't quite find that speed today, and uh, man, Joel was ripping, and he nailed his starts, and he made the race look easy, and um, man. We're just going to keep working and uh, just huge for us, my team. Uh, we got the points lead, but we got a lot of work to do. We got to keep this rolling and uh, we're going to try. Super happy with the bike. We made some adjustments and it, it really worked out. Um, you know, we're still building, we're gaining, and uh, we're at a deficit still, but I'm just looking looking to make this machine better and uh, just try to get up on the box and, and we did it today. So, super happy. Can't thank the Phoenix Racing crew enough. Uh, yeah, so pump 2 1 overall. Here we go. Yeah, and that's some of the progression on this new Yamaha that that team was looking for, and you can see how happy he is. Here's Moto 1 of the CST Tires race recap. Great battle between Hogue and Weenan and Hetrick early. Hetrick in the number three spot. He would eventually get around Hogue. Watch this rush around the outside. Michael Allred had a crash. He was okay. And then Hogue had third tucked away, and then he gets stuck in the mud and coughs it up. Good battle between Rastrelli and Janusa. Linquist. Checker flag goes to Weenan over Hetrick. Ford actually got third in that moto due to the mistake from Hogue. Hogue comes back, whole shots moto two, quickly passed by Hetrick, who is on a full rush to win this moto in the overall, and he checked out from there. Weenan gets around Hogue. Weenan made a brief run at Hetrick, but it was not enough. Hogue gets passed by a couple riders. Linquist, Rastrelli, Janusa was putting pressure on. Hetrick, unreal speed in this moto. That is vintage Joel Hetrick. But there's the problem. He's still down 22 points with only two motos and one race to go. We'll see you in Ohio. For everyone at Racer TV, I'm Jason Wygant. Thanks for watching and congrats to Joel Hetrick.